Newfoundland has some of the most incredible geology I've ever seen, but the journey doesn't start here. We have to rewind a bit to when I was scouting sunset and things didn't quite go as planned. You're going to want to watch till the end though, because the results are well worth the wait. Oh yeah. I know my heart that I loved her the best that I could. I know with every breath now I'm standing. Oh, you're already here. Now just give me give me one second to get ready and we'll we'll get started. Okay, I'm camera ready now. Welcome back everyone. Hope you're all doing well. We're gonna go scout this location for sunrise, even though it's sunset right now. Just see what it looks like, see how it's going. I'm pretty sure we can also possibly find some stuff here for sunset. Uh, this is another spot that Gord told me about. Not really sure what to expect. We gotta walk across this beach here and go all the way to somewhere over here. So let's get going, see what we can find, see what we can get up to this episode. Yeah. Okay, I barely made it across the beach here. And man, walking on this stuff is like, every step feels like three steps. I'm already tired. And I just got to the staircase thing here. Holy crap. Know that it's hard to give love from the fire. Look, you can see Ross right there, that little white dot. Woo! Left my little dog in your hands, it's alright, I know you take care of her. I was just taking a second here because we're actually going on the other side of this and that's why it's more of a sunrise spot because the sun is setting uh, directly that way so rises right behind me but this little spot here is just absolutely breathtaking i was wondering if maybe i should just stick around and shoot something here for sunset i mean it just i don't necessarily know if there's a composition here right here right now but uh being here and uh just seeing it in person is just it's magical uh, i i knew nothing about this place I probably couldn't even have found this spot on a map if you asked me knew where Newfoundland is. I knew the general area, but I knew nothing about it. And that feels really interesting to me as a landscape photographer because I follow so many people and so many different places and I could almost pinpoint and name so many different spots just by looking at it. Yet when I look at this place here or being here, uh, never seen anything like it. So it just feels really special in this moment. I'm glad I get to share it with you, but most of all, uh, just glad to be here. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get back to walking. I'm not sweating at all, so uh, I'm gonna go see what we can find and uh, see if we can find either a sunset shot or maybe something here. Me, I know that it's hard to give love from the
currently walking around trying to find a composition with a wide angle lens. Uh, the sun has gone behind some clouds here. Not much time left for sunset or good light here, uh, but to be honest, I think Gord was right in that most of the good spots here are probably for sunrise because the sun comes up somewhere over here. And all the angles that I could find that get illuminated uh, in this direction as the sun is setting uh, is a lot of these cliff faces and there's not really any foreground. Probably can get something with the drone if this, uh, I mean, <laughs> just look at that light behind me, if that keeps happening. Um, so, have to wait and see. Okay, so I've switched to my telephoto here, as you can tell, because it just doesn't seem like I'm gonna get a wide angle shot of these coves. Uh, and it might be difficult to see, but the sun is right behind some clouds here. And if it breaks through, it's gonna create some nice light here off in the horizon. So I thought I would plant myself here, set up with the telephoto and just wait and see. Right now there's a decent amount of haze uh, off in the horizon. So most of my shots are looking pretty dull, but I've got it set up in case something does happen and I can switch to my wide angle if uh, the light gets really epic. The atmosphere back here where the sun is setting is absolutely gorgeous. The clouds are turning pink. You've got those blue and pink hues uh, as the sun sets, and it's just everything you could wish for as a landscape photographer. It just happens to be over there, uh, which tends to be one of the issues. I will say if I could just find some kind of wide angle shot, maybe from here, maybe use some of this foliage down here that is slightly out of frame, uh, could work, but it'll be frantic. The sun is now coming out of that cloud right now. Uh, there's probably only a few minutes, but it seems pretty pretty diffused anyways, so I don't necessarily know if I'm gonna get any light over here that's uh, worth taking a photo. If anything, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm glad to be standing here. Sometimes it's not about taking the photo. It's just about being out here and enjoying what nature has to show you. Hey, part of the restaurant, I just want to say thank you for all the support. And if you wanted to help support me in more ways than just liking or subscribing to this channel, you could do that with a little link down below the like button. You can find things like my 2024 calendar, which I just released. It's an absolutely great holiday gift for a friend or family member or even yourself. It's got QR codes on the calendar, so if you get it for someone else, they can scan those and they can see how the images that are on their wall were taken. It's really cool. I'm really proud of it. I definitely think you should check it out. And if that's not anything you're interested in, maybe just checking out my Patreon for early access to some editing tips or postcards once a month, or maybe you wanna learn editing, you can check out my Lightroom Editing Companion that's linked down there, which is this thing I've created that integrates straight into Lightroom to teach you how to edit. No matter what, maybe you just wanna share this with someone that's into travel or photography, and you can just hit the like button and subscribe if you're really into it. Regardless, I appreciate your support. Let's get back to the video. Thank you for watching. Okay, I switched back to the wide, and I'm trying to shoot this little foliage here. Uh, in the foreground with these nice little rocks and the sun going behind. I mean, just look at that. The problem is there's no actual, it looks like there's light hitting this on my phone, uh, but there's no actual light hitting this. So it's just really dark. It's not really getting any highlights or specular highlights or anything like that. It's uh, not really sticking out. I mean, the sunset is gorgeous. <laughs> like, it's a, like I said, a uh, photographer's dream, but the light's just not hitting over here. So, huh. It is what it is. But I know, yeah, I know it's right. I it All right, as luck would have it, no shots tonight. But we really just came here to scout and hope for a shot. I think there was potential. I did find a cool little composition with some sweeping grass on the bottom of the frame uh, and this nice uh, rock face uh, right behind me uh, in part of the frame with the sun balancing out on the left. But I took it after the sun had gone behind the peaks, kind of found it a little bit too late. Still don't think it would have worked even if I did take it while the sun was out just because that sun was just not illuminating any of my scene anyways. I think there's quite a few scenes over here that you can't necessarily see, but the sun rises from over there. And I think uh, before it gets dark, I'm gonna walk over here and see what more scenes are right, right over this ridge here. Spot is scouted, heading back. Gotta try to get there before it's completely dark. I have to use my headlamp. Also didn't bring my bear spray, so um, that's a thing. So try to get out of the woods as fast as possible, you know, just in case. But anyways, I will see you guys in the morning and uh, see what we can find 
get up to. Hopefully we get some nice conditions in the morning like we did this evening. See you then. Well, as you can tell, hopefully you can tell, <laughs> it is not sunrise and we're in a completely different area. Yeah, so about this morning, um, I woke up at five, checked the weather, and it was just supposed to rain. So I waited a little bit. It was still pretty dark to where I couldn't see anything, but then I started to notice uh, very overcast skies. Uh, and I didn't end up going to shoot sunrise. On top of that, I hurt my ankles yesterday when we were shooting sunset. Uh, I'm, I'm okay, it's one of those things. Well, I mean, I'm obviously okay. I'm sitting here walking across the camera, but uh, it's definitely sore. And when you add about 40 pounds of camera gear to your back, um, I really feel it considering my body weight. That's a large percentage of my body weight. So I didn't go out this morning. I did end up filming this really nice, beautiful scene, obviously right after the sun came up through my window of storm clouds on the left-hand side and uh, some nice bright sun on the right side, which would have probably been beautiful. But it did rain a decent amount and I'm glad I just, I wasn't out there in the rain because I would have been miserable, plus my, uh, my swollen ankle. So we're in a completely different place. Um, sorry, I mean, I'm not that sorry because just <laughs> look at this place we're at. It's, I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. Um, we got about an hour till sunset. Gonna go see if we can find a sunset shot. I am a little bummed that there's no payoff to the scouting and the spots I was looking for yesterday for a sunrise shot, but I wasn't planning on staying there, so I should have realized that if I didn't get anything that next morning, I just wasn't gonna get anything, but it just didn't work out, and sometimes that happens. Sometimes you plan all this stuff and you wake up and it's overcast and rainy, uh, and hopefully you don't sprain your ankle like <laughs> maybe I did, but um, anyways. I'm rambling. You can tell the sun's coming out. Let's go see if we can find some shots, shall we? All right, so I just took a quick shot here right before the, the light went away on my... What the heck is going on up there? All right, don't mind me. As you can tell, it's a little windy, but my composition was basically just these rocks all jutting out of the water here, and I had this nice little element on the left-hand side of my frame, and I took just a, a couple quick shots right before the light went away. As you can tell back behind me, the sun has uh, gone behind some clouds here and is basically not illuminating any of my scene anymore. Uh, I would love for some more light to come hit here. I mean, it's, it's a very simple composition. There's not necessarily a bunch of leading lines or anything super intricate or long exposure. Uh, it just feels like Newfoundland. Um, it just, it has these giant, just this geology that I think is really cool. Uh, and it was nice, simple, but uh, pretty nice. I'll show it to you regardless of what ends up happening. I think I'm gonna walk around. We still got, I mean, as you can tell, we still have plenty of time before the sun actually sets. Uh, there's some storm clouds. Well, they're not really storm clouds, but they're more like fog clouds rolling in here and there. Oh, we're getting some, we're getting some light on our scene. I'll be back. All right, pardon that interruption. Sorry, the light happened and I uh, got a photograph when the light's happening. But again, wasn't trying to get too complicated with this scene. Really simple, just absolutely love the way the geology is in the scene. And I think that that will carry all the weight in the composition regardless. It doesn't have to be something... Uh, crazy with a bunch of different elements in it. I think it's just a nice, simple scene. So here's that shot. Let's go see if we can find anything else for sunset. I've got a secret What I've done ain't right The blame comes and goes Eating at my soul Where was my mind? There was this nature man Calling out my name There was this 
nature made Calling that man name For my darkest thoughts A cup of bourbon shot What an absolutely absurd spot. As you can tell, uh, my camera is propped up in this very precarious position. Do not recommend this. Uh, I feel a little scared being up here. On the left-hand side of my frame, I have these giant slabs of rock that just kind of fill up almost like a bowl shape with my wide-angle lens here. And then the sun was setting about on the right side, right third of the frame, and some water in the bottom, polarizer, F16, bracketing so that I can expose and capture all those colors and light rays in the clouds. Just the perfect landscape photo, I think. Well, at least the conditions. Don't necessarily know if the photo is actually uh, the perfect landscape photo, but just everything about this scene just feels actually insane. Just this, the geology of the spot where I'm standing is, I know that you can't see all of it, but it's, it's absolutely wild. It's nothing like I've ever seen. And we had some really great colors in the sky before the sun went behind the clouds. And uh, there's still a lot of great colors in the sky right now, but I think the shot, the shot that I'm standing here for, I've already taken. Whew, man, my legs are shaking. Definitely should not have uh, Gumby legs standing in a spot like this, but it's mostly out of excitement and fear for my life, but excitement for the photo. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Light is pretty much gone. Absolutely gorgeous. The shot that I just showed you, I have no idea what it looks like yet, but I definitely got those feelings of a uh, portfolio worthy shot when I was taking it. Kind of running around trying to find a composition while the light was fading and just finding that composition and then having the light come together and then everything just felt special in that moment. And things were looking pretty good on the back of my camera. Obviously, I won't really know until I get it and sit with, edit with it, but I think in that moment, it felt like a really special shot. And I'm really glad I got to share it with you. Absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful, beautiful evening here. Uh, and I hope you've been enjoying. You've also probably noticed that I'm not really focusing on any photography concepts. I'm not doing any lessons or talking about different things. I'm gonna to try to do that more here while I'm in Newfoundland because I really just wanna focus on the scenery. I feel like this place, no one really knows about it. And maybe, maybe that's my naivety. I just, me coming here, I knew nothing about it, not even a single photo. Uh, and it felt like I had never seen it before. And getting here and it being this ridiculously epic in so many different ways. Even the little bit that I've seen so far uh, makes me think, how, how is this possible? How is this not more of a you know, heightened destination for people to come and take photos? So that's really what I wanna focus on is just more of this really beautiful place. That's gonna make it where I can probably film more and record more uh, because I have to come up with less lessons and things to talk about and very focused in on the specific topic for each video. And I more just get to take you along on my journey, which I've done in the past, so I hope you enjoy that. I would say comment down below and let me know what you think, but to be honest, by the time you see this, I might not even be here anymore. I mean, here in Newfoundland, I'll still be existing, I hope. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoy this. As always, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, uh, consider subscribing if you like. As always, thank you for watching. You could like the video if you liked it. Consider subscribing if you loved it. But honestly, just glad to see you here. Glad to be here with you. There's gotta be a rainbow out there somewhere. We just gotta go find it. Later. I mean, just, just ah!